Now we can see in the panel that our set point is 557 RPMs. Well, you should be able to see that too, 557 RPMs. I think you can see it clearly. And now my connections are ready. My 24 volts is waiting there. My 24 volts is waiting. And when my 24 volt comes, I'm expecting this to run. Now I will press on I0.0 and my motor will run. I pressed on I0.0 and when I pulled my hand away, it stopped. Look. So I have pressed it and why does it stop when I pull my hand away? That relay releases, therefore the switching operation can't be completed. The relay releases and the switch releases as well. Therefore, the ampere can't travel through and the system stops. So let me press on I0.1 while the relay runs. I have activated I0.1 and this time my motor, as you can see, started running backwards. Now let me meddle with my potentiometer, friends. Uh, let me play with my potentiometer and then we will see that it will reach to the maximum value. So as you can see, I have brought my system to the maximum value. It is now at maximum. So now let's have a look. I will activate the I0.0, uh, let's see. And as you have seen, my system stopped, friends. So one of them runs the motor and forces it in one direction. And the other has it run in the other direction. Look, I have pressed it and the motor is active. And in the end, what changed the direction? Well, it actually changed according to the connection you have made. I mean, uh, my connection. According to my connection, when a signal comes from the system, it ran the motor in this direction in three phases. However, had I changed any of the two phases, at the beginning the motor would have moved through the other direction, whether we want it or not. That is completely up to you, to set up in your own processes. So now friends, when I press on where my cursor is, as you can see the motor started running in reverse. So that's it. What I wanted to express here was that you can command your motor externally, by making the connections of your driver through the terminals of your driver. And while performing that remote control, you can still use your PLC. You can still use your PLC, but like I've said, not the profinet feature of the PLC, not the communication features. You will start or stop your motor using the contact structure of your driver through the terminals which are under the front cover. So for the moment being, this is all I can convey for you in this video. Now that's about it for this subject. And um, we have also performed an application video as well here in this video. And I will see you in the upcoming lessons.